Good morning. I'm Ryan Stanley with a news update. Top labor officials are criticizing a plan by the Massachusetts Senate to freeze the state's unemployment insurance rate for 2011. Massachusetts AFL-CIO President Robert Haynes has called the proposal short-sighted and fiscally reckless and blamed businesses for pursuing freezes in better economic times. Without the freeze, the average employer would see their per-employee payment jump from just $644 to $872, an increase of $228 per worker. Senate President Therese Murray said that capping the payment gives businesses some additional breathing room and that the bill is being debated on Thursday. Massachusetts schools that sustained damage because of heavy snow can apply for emergency assistance from the state, but only as a last resort. Catherine Craven, director of the Massachusetts School School Building Authority, which reimburses communities for school construction projects. She said Wednesday that only buildings declared unsafe would be eligible for state aid and that insurance must be tapped first. She says so far no schools have applied for state aid and the roof of a Georgetown elementary school partially collapsed last week while several school buildings across the state were closed for classes so crews could clear the roofs. No one has been hurt, though. State officials say roofs on more than 150 buildings have collapsed since a snowstorm struck last week. Most were flat-roofed commercial buildings, though. Massachusetts public health regulators, they've approved regulations to limit the sale of sugary soft drinks, salty and calorie-packed snacks, and even white bread sandwiches from public schools. The rules that were approved Wednesday in response to concerns about overweight students, they would apply to a la carte lines, snack shops, and vending machines, but not to the main cafeteria lines. They would apply during the school day and a half hour before and after classes. The rules need the approval of the State Public Health Council, an appointed panel of doctors and experts, which is expected to consider them at a spring meeting. They would take effect in 2012. 